several times a week. American artist Barnaby Furness visits an art lab on the second floor of a Manhattan printing company. The lab, one of several set up by technology startup, houses custom-made robots that Furness uses to enhance or make portions of his paintings. Furness uses the rover robot named Sozo, custom fitted for him with a brush that flicks paint on a canvas to mimic splashes of blood. Do this area here, capture it, and then... He gives instruction to Sozo via a paintbrush style rod attached to an optical tracking system by waving the rod in the air as if he was a conductor instructing an orchestra. Sozo means imagination or creation in Japanese. Like I literally think of that robot as like a, a friend. More than a pet, less than an artist distant, somewhere, somewhere in there. Furness has spent hundreds of hours with Sozo for his latest gallery show, completing several paintings with its help. The rover robot can drive across a large flat surface and make marks under the guidance of a painter. It can move horizontally and vertically and be fitted with different types of tools such as an airbrush, a regular brush or a scraping tool. Two onboard computers send hundreds of instructions per second to the different motors that send data about the location of the robot, while a third remote computer interacts with the system to send commands given by the artist. This is made possible by an optical tracking system adapted from a commercial virtual reality system matched to the rod held by furnace and a rover on the floor. During every painting session, each movement is recorded and stored, allowing the robot to redo an effect or recreate portions of a painting on a completely new canvas, becoming a real-life Ctrl-Z function for the artist and lowering the risk threshold for individual mark making. You spend a lot of time on something, you invest in it, and it can be hard to see it for what it is after all that equity, sweat equity, and sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, but with the robot, you're like, he doesn't care if I paint that out. Um, and also, because they can capture you know, they, we're making these scripts of all the movements that I'm making, I could go back and just do half of what I wanted it to do. Or, so it offers me all kinds of, it lowers the risk threshold for individual mark making. It also allows Furnace to be more creative. For instance, the rover painted thousands of individual hairs on a bison painting, on another painting called The Trio, which depicts three identical women screaming in a farm setting Furnace only painted one face in the center of the piece, while a robot painted the other two women with exact precision. A human painter could never achieve the same level of accuracy, enhancing the painting's mood. He'll like things that we never thought would be interesting. He won't like things that we did think were interesting. Um, and that's the learning process. Tritt, who is also a painter by trade, said that he grew frustrated watching other creative fields advance with the help of digital technology in recent years, while painters were still holding the same age-old paintbrush. After accepting a teaching position at Massachusetts Institute of Technology and working with engineering students at its media lab, Trid founded Amata with the aim to make it an open-source community, bringing artists and engineers together to merge digital technology with traditional painting methods. Besides the rover robot, Amrita builds custom tools using inkjet heads used in printers. Another tool has a custom inkjet head mounted on a gun-like device, which allows control of each of the 700 individual nozzles, each able to leave a mark as thin as a human eyelash. We're opening it up to be a truly creative tool. So um, instead of having to have something, a paper or a canvas pass through it, we have this machine, these machines that you can put on a wall or on the floor on top of a painting and work on a section of a big painting or entirety, entirety of a small painting um, and work with it collaboratively. Adrian Turner, a partner at the gallery, said that Furnace's use of robots does not take away the aura of the painting as a painting is an idea on the wall. 
what you're really buying into and what the curator is looking at and what the, the public should be looking at is the picture on the wall and not really thinking about how it got there. Right now, Amitar is working with a select group of artists who pay an undisclosed sum to use the machines as test subjects and co-creators of the robots.